G'day, welcome to Marty's Beer Show. Where I take the hard work out of drinking beer so you can just enjoy it, you know, and that. Right, so today we're doing uh, Little Creatures. Uh, Little Creatures Beer from Fremantle, Western Australia. Um, now these guys have been around since uh, about 2000 they started, a couple of blokes. Um, uh, they want to make a, um, a pale ale, and um, so this was this one, and so they started a brewery based on brewing uh, pale ales and it went from there. Um, it's actually, apparently, it was an old crocodile farm, they shed, they started the uh, brewery in, and uh, so it's built specifically for pale ale, uh, apparently they, they brew it slower, more gentle, it takes uh, roughly six weeks for their... Pale ale, I don't know how long the other beers take, but um, enough rambling on. Uh, let's just start drinking them, and uh, then we'll find out how they go um, and whatnot um, and stuff. So anyways, first cap off the rank. So what they say is Little Creatures uh, Rogers beer. So it's a smooth amber. Um, it's three on the flavor scale out of a possible seven uh, flavor meter. Flavometer, the flavometer. Anyways, uh, uh, it's one stand drink, so it's uh, 3.8%, so it's in mid-strength. Uh, Rogers, you'll see them around at places like that. Now, this is how you open it, it was one of the things I prepared earlier. Um, cool, right out. So, we'll take one of these, which I prepared earlier, hope I've got enough. Uh, it's more than I can count on one hand, so. Um, I've only got five fingers, uh, you know, just born this way, but now I can't compare that to anything because I've got nothing else out, but that's, that's pretty dark, that's, um, that's, a uh, amber ale, I guess, amber, anyways, dogs are barking, um, my dog's not the thing, anyways, so the froth has gone away, but Smells pretty good. Let's taste it. Wow, that's good. That's a mid strength. That doesn't taste like a mid strength. That tastes like a full bodied, um, full strength beer. It's got the taste. Sort of like a multi aroma. Yeah, roasted caramel malt flavors. Balance was, yeah. That's not bad. For a mid strength beer, that's. That's just. just that's good for a beer in the beer scale. I mean, it's kind of smooth, kind of interesting. Um, pretty good. You ought, I, didn't, I don't know. Mid strength is like watery and clear and. Uh, not amber or not textured, not. That's good. That is a good mid-strength beer, Rogers. That's the one. Number two, or the second, um, uh, is the XPA, Extra Pale Ale. The X stands for, apparently. So 1.3 standard drinks, 4.9%, so you back up to, uh, what's the name? So, um, Galaxy Hops, Nelson something, Dry something. So Galaxy Hops is um, getting pretty popular amongst like the um, fruitier kind of craft beers. Again, Pop Top, should have known that. Um, uh, I don't know why. I don't, Done it, but you know, it's an ingredient, and it's just like people wanted to um, use it. And why not? Why not? If everybody looked the same, get tired of looking at each other. Um, mm. Anyways, pretty cool. That's Let's just taste it though. It smells fruity like fruit. It tastes like how it smells. That's that's very fruity. Mm. 
that's good. It's got a, it's got a, it's got a, a taste roller coaster worm. Um, it goes. Sort of sweet, and then finishes off with fruity taste. But I see what they're trying to do. Um, it's not bad. Some of the some of the XPAs I've done are to me a bit thick and a bit too um. Bit maybe done too much. This is just sort of almost toned down, like it's. Like a more pleasant XPA without the harsh kick, but um, yeah, pretty good XPA little creatures. Um, right, oh, next one is uh, out of a can. Uh, little creatures IPA. So it's not as extra. It's only intra. That's not my sense. India Pale Ale. Right, oh, uh, so it's born, yeah, whatever. It's uh, 1.8 stand, 6.4 percent. So that's not your um, breakfast meeting beer, but um, let's crack her open and uh, unleash the liquid gold which lies beneath, uh, under, in it. Oh, bloody tops. Look at that, it's coming out like a bat at a gate. Um, well, that's got some froth. It could be the can, it could be the man. Um, but it's uh, a bit clearer than the XPA. Um, so it's not as pale, but tasting time. Oh, smells a bit more refreshing than the first one, but let's just see what the... Taste buds do the walking here. Well, that's pretty good. That's real. It's real light. Like it tastes light somehow. I don't know how it feels sort of light. Tastes light. It doesn't have the overly. Sometimes these, these spears, when they get up to the 6%. Plus range and kind of taste that thing. Doesn't really have that thing. It's kind of a bit more mellow. Pretty easy drinker. Not not very not overly complex um, in its um, for foray in its forte, but it's um, easy drinker. Bit of bit bit of stuff. Not bad. Pretty good. IPA little creatures. Pretty cool looking can. The angel cherub. I don't know. Uh, so the next one. Uh, Dog days session ale. Juicy fruit. All right. So what does that mean? Um, so I think this was, um, oh, I don't know, I think I read something about it, but I, I kind of forgot what I read. Um, there, you know, they make it, when was the first beer they put in a can? That's right, that's what they said. Maybe, correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Creature, or Mr. Little, Mrs. Little. Um, the dog fur on the can, it didn't come with it, I um, put it there myself. So it's a three on the fluorometer, fluorometer. Um, 1.2 standard drinks, which brings it into something percent, four-ish. Can't find it on there, but uh, just take my word for it. Um, cool. Yeah, I don't know. Does it really matter? Um, so session ale. So I don't get what the, what the, what a session mail means, does it mean like you have a session of drinking it or, yeah, it's a very loose, loose term and loose lips sink, um, ships. A schooner is the name of a ship, so maybe that's where it comes from, but anyways, 
It's got the froth. The cans have the froth. Bottles, no froth at all. Maybe that's it. Hmm. Let me investigate further. Mmm. There's not really much going on there. Um. Maybe that's a session ale. Maybe the session ale's are like easier to drink, lighter, like a lagery style one. A lot of people call it ales, session ales. Kinda. Doesn't start with much. And doesn't finish with much. It's, it's, it's rather, rather refreshing. But it's, I don't know, it's like the, the so the kid up the back of the classroom just doesn't really say much, but is there, but is it, this doesn't really, doesn't really make much input, but still counts towards the head count. You could probably drink a lot of them in a session. Um, and they're probably light, easy to drink, right, quite refreshing, uh, non-offensive, uh, dog days. Now, the next one, I feel is gonna be quite a different kettle of fish. Coconut banger, milk coconut stout. Contains lactose from milk, that's on a sticker. It could be an afterthought. Um, but, um, so it's 5.6%, so you're getting 1.6 standard drinks in it. What's the go? Uh, so this is a, a seasonal. Winter one. So they had another. They have another beer in their range, um, but I couldn't find it in any of my local shops, so I won't talk about it. Um, but so a stouty, multi goodness, vanilla, cocoa bean, shredded coconut. So winter. So it's not winter anymore. It is October. It's actually Halloween tonight. Uh, it's this is our Halloween special. Here we go. Halloween special. And, um, um, yeah, so this is one of their uh, seasonal varieties. Um, I don't know how, when or how long they release them for. Um, but they had it there, so I added it because I had it. Now, um, just slightly darker than the other beers. Um, I can tell from here, I don't know if the camera picks that up, um, but whew, this doesn't look like a very refreshing beer, but I've been wrong before, I've had a, um, beers, yeah, we've drunk some other beers before, one was different to what I thought it was like, interesting, interesting fact, right? But don't judge a biscuit by its cover, we'll just, oh, it has, smells <sighs> strong. That's fact. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Let me have another try. Mmm. Now, if you're if you like stouts, you you'll buy a stout. If you don't like them, you're probably not going to buy it. So let me mold this review to that to that accordingly to that. So a lot of stouts, a lot of porters, a lot of those. Thick, gloopy, Vegemite beers. They kind of have that burnt taste. And a bit of zap. It doesn't really have that. It's kind of got the, definitely got the stouty, rich malt sort of flavour. I don't know if I can, it's sort of the cocoa, maybe slightly vanilla, I don't know about the coconut, but for what it is, it's sort of lightish, not lighter than these, but it's lighter than I expected. It's um, yeah, it's not so bad. Not not overly refreshing. You probably don't drink a stout after you've just ran a marathon. I know I don't after my marathons, um, but if you do, good on you for that. Coconut banger. 
not bad, not bad. Check that one out while you can, seasonal, so, don't know, whatever. A refreshing taste, take on a stout beer, there you go. Now, next on the line um, is a cider. Pipsqueak apple cider. Um, so, obviously, um, little creatures make cider as well. So I saw these and I added them to the, um, to the lineup. So it's 1.4 standard drinks, 5.2%. It's a two on the fluorometer. So maybe it doesn't taste um, as strong as, I wonder what this guy was on the fluorometer. I think they had to rewrite the, the book. His dad didn't have a fluorometer on there. That's why they just could not, anyways. Oh, I don't, well, I don't think that was going to be that because it's not that. There's another one. Ah, them. So, uh, no interesting facts that I can see on there. But maybe the interesting facts are in the bottle. Ooh, it's a very, uh, very big change from the previous contender. If you guys were watching, uh, this looks like a nice glass of champagne or sparkling white wine that's not from that region. Um, but um, apple cider, so right, eh? let's see if they're up there in the competitive market of apple ciders. Oh, that's good. That's pretty good. That is very refreshing. As I did a, oh, whatever, I forget, um, a cider the other day, and um, it, was, it was a cloudy, it was a Young Henry's cloudy cider. There we go. Check it out up here, the video. Shameless self-promotion there. The first cider we did, uh, I did, we did together. Anyways, so a lot of ciders can be really sickly sweet, um, uh, sort of whiny. Some of them are almost, almost more like a soft drink. Um, some like the more mass-produced ones there, they're more um, like a, a sugary soft drink. Um, whereas these, this, this kind of brings back a more the brood sort of. It's just got a little bit of apple. It's not overly sweet. It's not too tart. It's not too whiny, it's very, very crisp, very um, refreshing. It says that, it says crisp and refreshing. You couldn't plan that. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty decent. Um, I didn't really know about this one actually anyway, so. Um, um, yeah, so if I don't know about it, maybe other people don't know about it, but if you're into cider, or if you're in a beer and you want to have a cider, I'd, yeah, give this one a go. That's pretty pretty refreshing. Sometimes it's good to change it up from your thing. So if you drink a few of these and you're like, oh, I need to brush my teeth or have a cider. Both uh, dentists recommend both of those in that order. Now, uh, last but not least, I saved the, um, hopefully the best to last because this is their, uh, this is their piece de la resistance. I don't know what that means. Uh, it's French. Unlock little creatures. So it's 1.4 standard drinks, 5.2%. So this is, this was their original, um, their idea was to make a pale ale, uh, American style pale ale which we've done a lot better than the Americans. Did an American beer review uh, last night. You can check that out. And uh, geez, we're, we're making a lot better beers than those guys. Um, anyways, so um, it's got a bit of writing on there. Can't really, yeah. But I'll tell you what, let's, let's get my expert opinion. Uh, because so this is like, this is on taps now, 
um, a lot of bars. It's really um, so they've been around for what since two thousand, so twenty years. So they've had a pretty wa a fair while, and they've got their foot in the door. Like you go to a surf club, you go to an RSL, you go uh, <laughs> places that have beer taps, and you can buy it there. It's pretty good for a beer if you can buy it somewhere. Um, it definitely helps with the consumer market. Um, I find, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, the pale ale. Um, so, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's frothing good. I might have poured that a bit better. Alright, enough fluffing around. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. If this is their first beer, they got it one and done. They've just... Apparently there's a bunch of guys who made beer before, so it wasn't their first rodeo. And I think they nailed it first go. That's good, that's... See, it's... It's got that little bit of a pale ale, um... Uh, bite to it. It's not overly... It's not, it's not fruity. It's not... Uh, it's not too sweet. It's kind of smooth. Oh, it's not overly light, but it is refreshing. Um, what other words describe beer? Pardon me. Um, it's just good. It's just good. It's smooth. It's not offensive. It's not too sweet. It's not too bitter. It's not too hoppy. It's not weedy. It's not fruity. It's not boring either. It's... So what, what percentage was it? Five, five point two. So it's definitely a, it's a full grown beer. Um, it's just brilliant. That's you'd be proud of that. If you if you made that beer by accident and you, but I didn't. I obviously knew what I'd doing, but that's pretty good. Little creatures pale out. Shit hot. Anyways, um, that's, uh, that's all the beers I could get from Little Creatures. Uh, they do have a few more available um, seasonally, special releases from there. Uh, they've got a brewery in Fremantle and I think Geelong as well. You might have to go um, look them up. I'll leave a link somewhere so you can do that. But um, I'll tell you what though, I'll tell you what, uh, my pick of the bunch is I'm I'm just gonna have to just you know just two more seconds. It's bloody good. Pale ale. Um, if you've all had it before, unless you've never had it before, that's a good drop. So cool, good work, everyone. So that's uh, that's Marty's beer show for tonight on Little Creatures. Hope you enjoyed that because I surely did. Um, why wouldn't I? drink beer. Um, so remember to like and subscribe and um, and all that so I can keep doing this because it's good and leave a comment below um, and let me know what you think and let me know of some beers you might like me to try or um, what not and I'll try and do that and um, and yeah it's, just, it's just brilliant yeah but um, cool thanks for watching uh, Marty, Marty's um, beer show. Beer.